Hello everyone. We will learn more, more detailed in that debugging. Our next topic is what is deleting and deactivating breakpoint feature in that debugging mode. Suppose I have a program and that in that program, I have lots of breakpoints or some breakpoints are there. If I will go for delete or if I will go for deactivate, how system is behaving, we will learn these two things now. Deleting breakpoints or deactivating breakpoints. Suppose I am going to the program. I will go to any of the program. Suppose in this program, I am putting three breakpoints. I am running the program. I am giving the input. I am going for execute. Text of three. Suppose I entered into debugging mode. I want to come out. I simply I want to come out from the debugging mode because I want to do the debugging again. But at this point of time, I want to come out from the debugging. But next time, I want to go into the debugging mode. So if you are deactivating the breakpoints, so breakpoints will be temporarily deactivated. Suppose if I'm running the program, I got the output of the program because I deactivated the breakpoints. So I simply got the output. Now, whenever I will run the program again, but if you see the program, program has still the breakpoints. For that particular session, you temporarily delete the breakpoints. But breakpoints are still there. Suppose if I'm running the program, if I'm running the program again, I entered into debugging mode. I entered into debugging mode again. Suppose I just do not want to do the debugging in at this particular time or at this particular moment, but I want to do the debugging again. So I'll just go for deactivating the breakpoints. So breakpoints are deactivated only for this particular session, particular session. See output is there, but breakpoints are still there. Whenever I will run again, I will enter into debugging mode. This is deactivating the breakpoints. What is deactivating the breakpoints? It will temporarily delete the breakpoints in that particular session. Whenever you will run the program again, breakpoints will be there. Will be there. Now we will see if rather than deactivate, if we will go for deleting the breakpoint, then what it will do. I will go to the program. I'm running the program. I'm going for execute. Desktop three. Now I want to come out. I want to permanently delete the breakpoint because I got the solution or I do not want to debug. Some reason might be there. So you can delete the breakpoints. Breakpoints, delete all breakpoints. And you can see there is no breakpoint now. If I'm doing F8, I directly got the output. So whenever I will run the program again, whenever I will run the program again, 
the break points will not be there it will not be there directly output is there see here you are able to see because i have not refreshed the session if i will refresh the session you will see break points will not be there it will not be there see it are not there so whenever you are going for deleting all break points it will permanently delete the break points of that particular session if you are going for deactivating the break points break point will only delete for that particular session if you are deactivating whenever you will run the program again break points will be there so depends upon the scenario sometimes we are going for deactivate and sometimes we are going for delete also so that's it in this video we'll continue the features more in the next video thank you